Hello, welcome to another video. We will be finding the equation of the tangent line to a curve at a given point. So usually a problem like this would say, find the equation of the tangent line at a point or when x equals two, for example, and then it will be your job to know what y is gonna be. But for you to answer this question, you need to have a point where you have the value of x and the value of y. And you have a function that you need to differentiate. The only thing you need in this function is the derivative. Once you're able to differentiate it, whatever you have, you now know that the equation of the tangent line at that point will have a slope, which generally we call y prime or dy dx. So dy dx from this is the same dy dx you're gonna use for the tangent line, which is the same thing, okay? So you just need to differentiate this once. So our goal is to find y prime, and I'll show you the quick way to get your answer. Let's get into it. As you can see, this requires implicit differentiation because the y is not isolated. So just go ahead and do your work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the derivative of both sides, d dx of x squared plus four xy plus y squared will be equal to d dx of 13. Okay, we know automatically the right-hand side is gonna be zero. Now let's differentiate each of these terms. If I differentiate x squared, I'm gonna get two x plus. I know this is a product, so I have to use the product rule. Now what I recommend is keep the four outside and open a parenthesis for the product rule. So if I differentiate x, y, I'm gonna keep the first and differentiate the second. So I'm gonna keep the first and differentiate the second. Plus, I'm gonna differentiate the first, that's gonna be one. So I won't write the one, or I can write it actually. So, and then I keep this, I, I differentiate the first, keep the second, it's gonna be one times y. And here we're gonna have the derivative of this, which is gonna be two y, but we have to apply the chain rule, we have to differentiate the inside, which is y prime. And that's it. Now, should you collect the like terms or whatever, I do not recommend that. I just, because you're looking for y prime, and I notice that students often in trying to collect like terms and isolate y prime, that's where they miss out on something. So don't do anything like that. Just leave it the way it is. The best you can do is distribute. Don't even distribute, okay? Let's clean up all the multiplications first. I wanna remove all these dots. So let's rewrite this as 2x plus, you can distribute this if you want, which I don't think I wanna do. I'm still gonna leave it this way. This is gonna be x, y prime plus y. That's what's here, plus two y, y prime, and here I'm gonna have zero. Now, the next thing is to substitute. Go pick up these values. X is equal to two and y is equal to one. That's all you need to do next. Let's plug in two everywhere we get x. So I'm gonna do two times two, because two is equal to x, and it's gonna be plus four times, what is x? We got two, and what is y prime? We don't know, so two y prime, plus, what is y? y equals one, I'm gonna write it, plus, I'm gonna write two times, what is y? y is one, and then you have y prime, which is equal to zero. Okay, that's all you have to do. Now let's multiply numbers. Clearly, this is gonna be four. So we have four, and this is gonna be, if you distribute this, you're gonna have eight y prime, plus eight y prime, and this is gonna be plus four. And then you go here, this is gonna be two times y prime, plus two y prime is equal to zero. Now we can collect, um, you see, this is easier to deal with, okay? Now, what do we have? We have eight plus 10 y prime is equal to zero. That means that y prime, or 10 y prime equals negative eight, which means y prime is equal to negative eight over 10, which is equal to what? That would be negative four over five. So this is your y prime. Y prime is negative four over five. So now we need to just find the equation of a tangent line. Remember, it's easy. Anytime you get the equation of a tangent line, 
I need to, you get, uh, you want the equation of a tangent line, you just need a point and the slope, or you need the y-intercept, but we, we're not doing the intercept thing here. Let's just do the point-slope form. So, the point-slope form says that y minus y1 equals m into x minus x1. So the question is, what do we know? What do we need? You will not get these two, y and x, but you know what your y1 and your x1 are, because they're the two points from the point given, the two values from the point given. And we just found our slope to be negative 4 over 5. <laughs> okay, how did that happen? Okay, here we go. So we're going to plug in these values we've got here. So we have y minus, what's our y1? It's 1 equals m. This is the value we've got. That's negative 4 over 5 times our x minus, what's x1? It's 2. Okay, so you know what? I can move this one over here so that I have y is equal to negative 4 over 5 times x minus 2 plus 1. Now I can distribute this. This is going to be equal to, let's write it here. This is equal to negative 4 over 5x. This times this will be plus 8 over 5 plus 1. I know that this is going to give me 13 over 5, so that the equation of the tangent line to this curve at this point will be y equals negative 4 over 5 x plus 13 over 5 and this is what you need never stop learning those who stop learning have stopped living bye bye